Hey everybody, so today we are going to be looking at a music recording studio desk by Acme, and we're going to see if it's right for you. So as the name of this product suggests, this desk is geared toward music recording, and as a guitarist who records music, I figured this was a good desk to get for myself. If you happen to be a guitarist or someone who's looking to get a guitar but you don't know what type of guitar is best for you, then you'll probably have a lot of fun taking my quiz. It just takes a minute to complete and once it's done, you'll know what type of guitar is best for you. So you can find the link for that in the description below and you can also find it at zacksharguitar.com. All right, so on with the desk. We're going to cover some of the features this desk has. So for being so minimalist looking, it's packed with some pretty cool features. So it has three total shelves. So the lowest one is commonly used for keyboards like MIDI keyboards, uh, piano keyboards, and it can accommodate a keyboard that's up to the size of a 61 key keyboard. I got this desk off of Amazon and apparently the top shelf can only support up to 10 pounds. I actually didn't see this until after I already got the desk, but the top shelf seems pretty strong and strong enough to handle more than 10 pounds. It's interesting because the page describes how the raised shelf, this top one, is for monitor placement. So if by monitor, they mean like studio monitors, like the ones I'm using, you'd probably be hard pressed to get a pair that weigh less than 10 pounds together. The ones I use are actually 13 pounds each and are not particularly large. Plus, they don't really seem to fit. Even with my ISO acoustics isolation stands underneath them, there's still a little bit of overhang, but they actually seem to grip the surface of the shelf pretty well. So I don't know if I want to risk it just yet, but this is kind of where it sits. The size of the desk is 47 inches wide, 28 inches deep, and sits 38 inches high. So when looking for a desk, I wanted to be mindful of the limited space I have to put a desk in. So this one actually sits very nicely inside of the space I have. So next we're going to talk about some of the attachments uh, as some additional features of this desk. I love the headset hook and the cup holder that come with it. Both save some space on the whole work surface of the main shelf, and the cup holder can save you some stress on potentially spilling your drink all over your expensive equipment, and, you know, we do not want that. And what's also cool is that this desk sits on some wheels, which make this thing super easy to move, so the portability is pretty high when it comes to this desk. And I actually had a small, slight concern about this desk sitting on some wheels because I wasn't sure how sturdy the whole construction would be. But it does really well. It is very sturdy. Actually, the two front wheels have a locking mechanism, so that helps a lot with the sturdiness of this design. So next we're going to talk about how easy this desk was to build, okay? So the instructions it came with were very clear overall. They were picture-based for the most part, and all the parts were very clearly labeled. However, the instructions didn't include any other additional text to accompany the images. I managed to get the desk assembled successfully in about an hour and a half. I think it would have been nice if they described why I was given double the amount of Allen screws than what was required. But I'd say it's better to have extra than not enough. I could also see it being helpful if the instructions described what the Phillips screws with washers were for. It seems to me though like those pieces are for people who want to attach any like analog recording equipment such as synthesizers to their desk. Which I think is a really neat feature that I think is a really cool selling point about this desk, but it doesn't seem to be advertised too well from what I've seen. 
Another thing that helped with the assembly of this desk is that there weren't really many tools needed. The only things I really needed were a screwdriver and a pair of scissors. But other than that, all the tools were included with this desk. So now we're going to talk about the looks, the aesthetic of this desk. I got the white and black one and I love the colors. They're very similar to the lifetime table I was using before I got this desk. And if you're curious about how I was using a lifetime table for a music recording station, then feel free to check out the video I made on the minimalist home studio recording tour. But anyway, back to the looks of this whole thing. Um, one thing I really appreciate is the textured surface. I feel like that adds a whole extra dimension of style to this whole design and this whole setup. I like to feel like I'm in the labs in the Resident Evil movies or the Portal video games when I'm doing music stuff. And I know that's an oddly specific personal preference, but the aesthetic of this whole table really allows me to experience that. The only small issues i can see when it comes to the looks of this table are the slight color blemishes which you know you could say it adds character but it's really not much that white out paint can't take care of so it's not a huge deal and now we're going to talk about the comfort of this whole thing it was a little bit of an adjustment at first which is to be expected i had to find the sweet spot when adjusting my chair because if my chair was too low my wrist would be sore due to the awkward height of my arm when holding the mouse and if the chair was too high my legs would hit the bottom of that keyboard shelf and like i said the adjustment is to be expected and overall i find the desk at this point once i found that sweet spot to be very comfortable to use all right so my thoughts are that this is a really great desk and well worth the value right now the desk is available on amazon for 239.99 it's probably not ideal for those who intend to write or draw on it due to the desk's textured surface but if you're somebody who's looking for a desk to use as a computer desk like if you're a gamer or a musician like i am then this desk is probably ideal for you and you'd probably really enjoy it if you happen to be a musician like a guitarist like myself or if you're someone who's curious about what type of guitar is best for you, then go ahead and take my free quiz. It only takes a minute and the results may surprise you. Again, the link for that is in the description and you can also find it at ZachSharGuitar.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Zach with Zach Shar Guitar. Take care and I will see you in the next one.